wallet. Beautiful day. This is crazy for December. So, okay, first off, happy holidays, guys. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be creating custom end plates for my spoiler. But before heading to the garage to start this creative process, we're gonna be needing supplies. And Canadian Tire is actually having their Boxing Week sale. I was able to scrounge what I could of my Canadian Tire money, and this is what I came up with. So we're rich, baby. This is probably only like $1. Eh, a little more, maybe. But this is definitely gonna help in whatever we're purchasing today. I'm probably only gonna get like a few nuts and bolts. And, uh, well, we'll see what they have on sale. Uh, I have no idea if Canadian Tire exists in the US. I've never been curious enough to ask that question. Here's a small tip for you guys. Never go to a dollar store, or any department store, or any store, or any mall for that matter, without a plan of what to buy, a, t a small to-do list, a goal sheet of things not to do and things to do, including the purchasing of said object. This way you're a little more disciplined with your cash flow. I'm only saying this because I suck with my money. So with that said, let's head to Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire Rewards card. All right, we got our stuff. I only saved like four bucks from that wad of cash, that Canadian Tire money that I showed you guys earlier. I honestly don't think I even took advantage of the Boxing Day sales that were going on. None of the things that I bought had an orange tag on them. So I don't even know if I saved any money. But I'll see you guys at the garage so we can get this project started. All right. Guys, this is what we're gonna be using to create our end plates. And this is a sheet of acrylic, and I think it's just a quarter inch. Now we're not gonna need all that much of this, but just enough so we can cut two pieces. And I'll explain why I chose acrylic specifically to create these end plates. We'll get the car in here, get all set up, and there are actually a couple of other things that I wanna do on the car to fix it up a little bit before she goes away for the rest of winter. Luckily for us, our city and its weather has been forgiving. That is the reason why I'm able to drive in the middle of December. Let's get started. Alright guys, we're going to start off by cutting out the end plates and I've actually already created the template that we're going to be using using ABS plastic, which is the same material that I made my diffuser and my splitter with. This is almost the same thickness as the acrylic that we're actually going to be using, but the point of creating a small prototype, first of all, uh, I mean you can make this out of cardboard, out of foam core, um, even out of a cereal box, which is technically cardboard. And we are also going to be fixing the diffuser. I don't like how it comes out like two inches from the body. So I'm gonna move the holes and push the diffuser in a little closer. I'm also gonna be redesigning the end pieces of the diffuser. Do a little bit of fixing up in the back here. Big shout outs to Devin, um, my other YouTuber buddy who owns a Rallybacker. He got me into contact with Rallybacker North America to replace this missing piece, which I actually still have, but it's really beat up. And I've given it some thought. I don't think I'm gonna go through the effort of trying to fix this with Bondo, because it's just gonna be a waste of my time, and I'd rather use the two to three hours of estimated time to complete and imitate, replicate the holes and the design of this thing, when I can just use that two to three hours to create content, make that $100 and just buy it straight from Rallybacker themselves. They're kind enough to sell me just the one-off piece, but I'm sure they have a bunch of those pieces lying around anyway. Other than that, this rear end is gonna look just a little bit different when we're done with it today. Idea. Imagine this 
but out of acrylic. And there's a reason why I chose acrylic, because it's a see-through material. And also it's lightweight, but I plan on making it green. <laughs> to get your hands on colored acrylic is really hard, and it's just expensive. Uh, this is my cheap alternative. You could get the company to cut it out for you, but the bottom line is you don't really learn anything through that process. So cheap, resourceful, starving artist, um, this is how we get things done. I've actually decided to keep the blue protective sheet film on uh, so that I don't scratch it while I'm cutting. So we got these cut and our new diffuser ends cut. So now we're gonna bend these. We're also going to sand these. Because we don't have a table saw or a band saw, we get this fraying on the edges and that is why we had to go through the process of sanding it down. But I would sand it down anyways just to have smoother edges and a more refined, cleaner look. You're probably asking, how am I gonna drill the holes in this? We're gonna just use a simple drill bit. I've actually shaped out the silhouette of the spoiler on the prototype, which is why it's good to have a prototype. So now we have a basic guideline of where to position our end plate and where to drill the hole. While we were using this, it was heating it up and melting the plastic at the same time. So now it's stuck on there, but it can be chipped off.
All right, some progress. Oh, and Chris is here now. Come on, man. Are you shy? All right, guys, don't follow him on Instagram. So before I sanded it down, I actually clamped both of the end plates together so that I can get them as equal as possible. All right. Voila. Trying my best to keep this protective film on. Only until we need to take it off. But yeah, you can see it's completely clear acrylic. So it's gonna look weird if I don't put any color on it. Cause like right now, you can see if I turn this green. By the way, was the plan. I have some green film here and uh, it's meant for your window, but I'm gonna use it on the acrylic and hopefully goes on clean. There's your little hint of what it looks like green. And because I already traced out where my spoiler is, it's basically trace that same silhouette. And then I'll know exactly where to drill my holes. decided I am gonna be super Filipino or I guess super Asian I you know what I don't know if are all Asians like this because my parents were notorious for this whenever they got a new appliance in automotive terms the OEM plastic wrap that was on whatever new electronic gadget my parents bought they kept it on that thing for as long as for as long as forever I think some of the remotes in my house actually still have plastic wrap on it that is, uh, that is the plastic wrap that came out of the box. So I have this leftover window film, and it is just enough to envelop the entire end plate. When the time comes, I'll take this blue film off, and I'll replace it with this green stuff. That way, this is green. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it on because it's, it's on there pretty good. And I still have all of winter to go through, so I'd rather the installation be really clean, and once spring rolls around, I can just throw it on there. I'll quickly install the other side, and then we can get onto the diffuser. I promised myself I'll only be at the garage for a couple of hours, and just quickly, quickly do this, because I still have a lot of things to do. And a special announcement at the end of this video, unless you want to skip and just find out what it is, but don't skip, because the process is important. Check it out. These are the new ends of our diffuser. So now I just gotta drill the holes, put it together. It's kind of a good thing I made these detachable. So then I can change the design of the ends to anything I want, basically. Sick. It's like Batman. It's really close to hitting the tire, so I'm gonna have to cut it right here. Maybe like an inch and a half. A hell of a lot closer to the body, a lot more subtle. Sick.
finished. I made it so it'd compensate for the rally backer kit. You'll see that on this side, there is a little bit more of a gap, but that's because I don't have the apron on this side waiting on it still. So that's pretty much it. Really quick redesign of my rear end. The only thing that's missing now is the custom battle arrow wing mounts. So I'm actually going back and forth with the battle arrow guys. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll have an update for you guys on that. Uh, it's in the works. That pretty much wraps it up for uh, today's video. But before I end it, I will do a small cinematic to show you guys what the parts look like on the car. And I promise that I have a small announcement that I'm gonna make at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Right now I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and then we can do that little big roll. AKA my room. Before I let you guys go, I did promise that there is a special announcement. Well, it's not really all that much of a new announcement for anyone who's been following me for a while now. First of all, the FRS, that car has pretty much created the foundation for th this channel, okay? And if it wasn't for me modifying that car to the extent that it is, all of the experience up to this date would have all been for naught because that thing has given me so much more than I could have ever asked for in experience and in personal progression in my practice as a newbie automotive enthusiast. I have a lot to thank that FRS for. I think you can only do so much to a car before you've passed a point where it just seems like you're overdoing it. And I think I'm almost at that point. I drive that car here and a lot of people look at me on the roads and sometimes I forget that I'm actually even driving this thing or what it looks like on the outside because it's just, it, it, I've become saturated with the image of it in my mind. It is pretty much my daily, especially since the MX-3 is not working. It's come to the point where I just think I'm, I might be overdoing it a little. There's not all that much I can do left on that thing, so it's time to move on to the next project. So here's the announcement. I'm gonna be getting a new car, a new project for this channel, finally. For me, I love the process stage. I love when I'm actually busy building and thinking of, of new ideas to be putting into the car. When it's like finished and showroom worthy for the event or something, yeah sure it looks pretty but to me that there is a done state and I think that FRS is almost close to this done state so. Next project, it is a drift build and I've already been telling a lot of my friends about what kind of car I'm getting and I think I've actually hinted it out there on my Instagram but I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. Just wait and see because I think it's gonna be in the next couple days that I'm gonna go take a look at this thing. But I have to pick it up in Edmonton, so it's like a three hour drive away. I honestly think I'll just like take the plane. It's like 30 to 40 minute plane ride, but it's a three hour drive. So the test is, well, go to Edmonton, check it out, do one more test drive, and if everything goes well and I actually like the car, um, I'll probably end up driving it home and then that will be the true test is this three hour drive with it I've been going back and forth with the owner who's selling this car and he tells me that it's been parked in and out of his garage Since the beginning of 2017, so I don't know how many winters it's been out or how often it's been driven It was bound to happen me moving on to the next project. It wasn't like I was just gonna keep changing the face of my FRS. Like I said, there's only so much you can do to a vehicle. You can change the body kits, you can change the color of the wrap. For me, there, there is a finished state and it's almost there. And now I'm just excited to be starting a new project. So just crossing my fingers that everything goes well and I can actually drive that thing back to Calgary. I'll make a vlog out of it for sure, but you guys have to stay tuned. So that's pretty much the news that I wanted to share with you guys. There's gonna be new content on a brand new platform and one of the main reasons is I, I just really want to learn more, you know? So for me, this is the time to learn from experience again. And that's what I love is the process stage. That's the news that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm really excited for the future. But here's another small advice. Stop 
looking forward to the future and live in the present because I feel like that's how time moves faster is if you look forward to dates. Keep them there and like mark them on your calendar, but live in the present moment and just be productive in the moment from now till whatever date you're waiting for. Anyways guys, if you wanna get updated when new videos come out on this channel, hit that sub button, drop a like, and leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Yo, guys, how could I forget? Merry Christmas and happy holidays and wishing you all the very best and the most fruitful and joyous of times this Christmas season. See you guys. So few people have had a dream and I'm wishing that it would just all slow down. I'm just trying to forget all that I know now. That's why I breathe in so and let the smoke blow out. So pass it to the left until that green goes around.